my life didn't change in terms of employment or training. Um, but you know, I did have a few family members who were affected by COVID. But in terms of me personally, nothing. I'm fine. Um, in terms of like alterations towards training, I just had to, I switched coaches. Um, when I first moved to the States, I had one coach and I've been through two other coaches. I finally found the right coach that'll be, that's beneficial to my training and in terms of where I want to go in the sport. So, that's where we're at. So it was 2012. So I played football on the Ontario Minor Football League. And I was the only girl in my whole province on the team. And so every time we went to the gym, um, even though I was the same age as the guys, I was only allowed to lift body weight, like, you know. And so I wanted to lift weights and I wasn't allowed to. And um, one day I came from track and field practice and the Olympics was on. And I saw weightlifting and I saw a woman in it. And I, I didn't think that was the sport in the Olympics. And I've been hooked ever since. Um, I think um, it's just like m maintaining my rankings in Canada because um, uh, moving to the States, I planned on actively competing in both countries and then dealing with like immigration and the whole COVID thing that wasn't feasible. Um, but in terms of competing, I've had many opportunities in the States, so I, I really can't complain. Well, I'm going to tell you this. Before I started weightlifting, I, I looked literally the same. And so I've dealt with that my whole life. And um, you get called a boy and, and those things. But, I mean, you just ignore it. Like, I've never been bothered with people making fun of me in terms of how athletic I look and all my muscles for being a girl. Um, I've just always been proud of myself. So it never bothered me in any way. I'm trained four or five days a week for one, two, up to three hours. Well, so I'm, I have a few, I wouldn't call them dietary restrictions, but I do have a few allergies. I have celiac, lactose intolerant. I have nut allergies, but in terms of eating, um, breakfast, steak, broccoli, or spinach and avocado, lunch would be some kind of protein and another vegetable and carb for dinner, the same thing. I eat the same every day, uh, protein, carbs, and fats, just a good balance of foods. Um, I wouldn't say that I have a go-to cheat meal, but I do eat gummy bears quite often, a black forest organic. Um, well, I mean, I won the American Open Finals and like I've, I've won Canadian Junior Championships and I've won provincial, I've been provincial champion for four years in a row and I'm New York State champion and going uh, into October is a uh, uh, state championships and I'm currently in New York so we're gonna see about that. I would like to be ranked you know number one in the states and uh, sitting in fifth place is, is, is not satisfying to me so we're working our way in terms of getting up there being the number one female lifter in my weight class someday you know. I definitely can't relate to it. When I started weightlifting, I felt like the clean and grip was much easy because it's a two uh, movement lift in terms of like the snatch, you get one one shot. But as I progressed in the sport and uh, continued training, I like the snatch uh, better. Um, I think if you're consistent with training and, and eating properly, and the number one thing, again, is being consistent with training, then you'll find a good balance between both lifts. So really, at the point of my training, I don't have a problem with any of the lifts. Um, if I do, it's more of a tech, it's from a technical standpoint, like what do I have to fix in terms of having a better lift?
Um, I have a few favorite athletes, but in terms of inspiration, my coach and my training partners for sure in my training facility. Um, outside of my training facility, there, I, there, the list goes on. I know a lot of other coaches and athletes that I look up to that inspire me. I can go on for days naming them, but um, that's pretty much it. Actually, it was a it was an easy transition. Um, I felt strong going into jujitsu with my weightlifting background, and there was a period of time where I stopped training um, weightlifting. I think it was two months, and then I felt so weak training jujitsu. And so once I started weightlifting again, I felt like it was good balance, and they they correlate well. When you when you look into like wrestling, when you look into like wrestling and combat sports. In, in, in fact, any other sports, most of these athletes do strength training to, to benefit their uh, training. So I think I have a good balance here, and, and it really works well for me, at least. I can't speak for other people, but it works for me, you know. Oh, I would say, really, just when you look at social media all the time, you know, you're seeing your typical female bodybuilders and, and, and people like that. Um, I'd just say go for it. You're not going to look like um, the Hulk after a day of training. And, you know, if that's not your goal, if your goal is not to be a bodybuilder and you just want to get into fitness and be fit and look fit, feel great. And I'd say start working out and don't worry about, you know, looking like a, a jacked out gorilla because that's not going to happen unless that's your intention. Oh, 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 oh,